Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well out here at the park today. It's, uh, we had a lot of strong winds and rain this morning and then this afternoon it was still raining. Decided to change my plans up a little bit. Just came to the park, made some lunch that I just finished. I wanted to talk about flint and steel and uh, my, my latest flint and steel video. So I'll get the camera turned so you can see the goodies that it had to mean. We'll get to it. Okay, so here's just some of my items. Now, of course, whenever I go into the woods, I always bring my fire kit. I've done a video on this. I just misplaced my lighter. I've got some zip fire starters. I've got some matches. Uh, torch. Oh, here's my lighter. I've got a big lighter. I've got a couple tinder quicks at the bottom. This is an M&M container with some reflective tape. <clears throat> Ferro rod. And then I got a whole container of just tinder quicks just in case. So I've got a lot of fire starting if I have to make fire. And of course typically, and of course they're all the way over there, but they're clear over there, but my, um, <clears throat> usually I have a knife with a ferro rod on it as well, so fire kit always comes with me, small sack, essential. So in here I just sort of threw them in. I've got the char tin. I've got some uh, Dragon Fire Tinder Box uh, char cloth, which I've had good luck with. And then um, my buddy Mike Fabia sent me some char cloth, which I recently discovered that I had and hadn't used, so I felt like a turd. But <clears throat> um, this is a little, um, I think it's a map case. But I just, uh, you know, this is what I usually will carry. So I've got my two flint strikers here. Got the serpent, and then this one came from the Habilis Bush Tools flint and steel set. Of course, I have a rock in here. And then I have a lighter that ran out of fluid, but I was using it, uh, using the flint for, uh, I did some videos playing around with a, with a dead lighter. In here, I threw in some rocks, some flint, some quartz, another piece of flint. And of course, the, the Hidden Woodsman Tinder Bag, which is usually where I keep my um, my tinders that I'm going to be using. Like currently, I have some birch bark in here from a previous outing. The bag. Should have some bark down in the bottom. Yeah, so I got some bark right here. It's like a process down for uh, bird nests and making a mess. Hidden Woodsman Tinder Bag. Love these. <laughs> then we got this. Uh, Wine, which I've actually not used before, so I'm going to try to get something going with this just here at the park just to show you. And I've got this other tin here in this little pouch, and this is a uh, I think this is fireplace ash or fireplace char. I don't think it's, I don't think it's even been fired. So I did a video on fireplace uh, using a fire pit to start a fire. Usually this is what I carry everything in, just this little pouch because it keeps everything small and compact. And then that day I had just the two in there and then this piece of flint. And then I just threw up my pouch, kept it all together. You know, I brought them with me so I could practice because I'm, I'm far from an expert in uh, flint and steel, so. I forgot to show, but I made new char cloth the other day, so here it is. 
I think I got a video coming on this, which I've already had up, so I'll, I'll link it. I'll link it in the description. So let's uh, take a look at this stuff. You know, I had someone ask me why you would buy, you know, charcoal, off, but it actually, you know, it comes in a, a nice sealed little pouch, and it's not very big, and they're very not not very expensive. So I was like, well, why not? Especially for, for practicing. I see nothing wrong with buying products. I mean, we'll, we'll buy a ferro rod and we'll buy other products, but we won't buy, buy shark cloth. I mean, yeah, you can make it, but... Wow, is it coming out? Maybe it's out. No, I guess it's in there. There we go. So, shark cloth. It's actually really good char cloth. I've, I've used it on several videos, but it takes a spark really nice. So we're gonna we're gonna turn the camera around and try to get a spark going on these. I'm gonna use this and do a little bundle. I just have something to blow in the flame for you. I don't need very big ones because I'm not trying to make fire. Of course, just like with a bird nest material, you want to break these down as far as you can. Which I kind of found, you know, breaking these down to be kind of a pain in the ass, but you just, just got to be patient. Or break them down in advance. So I'll do this uh, off camera so you won't be uh, super bored. Alright, before we get started, let's kill the overhead lights. I'm currently at a uh, covered picnic table because it's been pouring down rain, so. There's lights. Alrighty. Let's try last week's uh, serpent rod. The same rock I had flint I had. Let's try the uh, Dragonfire Tinder Box char cloth. That's been in here for a long time. Let's see. Make sure you can see me. Definitely throwing spark. Oh, there we go. See right there? So that's the Dragonfire Tinderbox. Now let's try the char cloth that I had made. So here's the tin. <clears throat> Same rock. This is a, uh, if you saw the video, this is denim. Definitely throwing sparks. There we go. 
as you can see. Got some glow. Got a little bundle here of uh, jute. And there you go. Now, let's try the other uh, striker with this other piece of flint. Let's see if I could, let's use a smaller piece so I don't have to waste it. Or rather, waste less of it. I think I have another package of this. If not, we'll, uh, maybe I'll buy more. And I already got a, see, got one. So. Now we'll try the char that I made, which I'm just burning up now. Piece of piece of flint. The Habilis bush tools. You can see that. Put this on this bark I have here. And there you go. <clears throat> That was just from two pieces of flint. The same one I had last time and the different one I had. So you can see. Oh, got my little little burn pile down there. <clears throat> so maybe it was a char cloth or maybe it was something in the air or maybe my technique was flawed or <clears throat> I just realized. I hadn't tried this stuff yet. Let's give a square of this a try. And that's a char claw. Let's use the Habilis striker and then this one. Yeah. Already got it. Yeah, this is a quartz throw spark. I did see a little spark come off. Not very much so. Hmm. Well, anyway. Well, at least we know it works, so. I'd say that was a pretty successful test. I mean, it didn't happen when I was out there in the woods, but hey, you know, I got it to work that time. So I used the char that I made, the char that was given to me, and the char that I bought, and all, all three worked. And I've got two bird nests going, little ones, but still. 
carry those around with me. And then this, which I might just go ahead and throw in my chart tin. Pretty much lit right up. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all the chunks and dust. So there we go. First and I have char cloth for now next outing. <clears throat> now if I wanted to as well, I could uh, throw this in this bag. Help keep the moisture out. There we go. <clears throat> Got my cloth wrapped up. Well, as always, I do appreciate you watching, and this looks like it might be a bit of a long video, but not much you can do about that. It did work, it did work though, flint and steel. Just that day it didn't. Who knows why? Maybe it was just being stubborn, or maybe it was a char cloth I had. But. <clears throat> I can't remember if I had made that myself or that was given to me. So. There we go. One char bag. Hard to keep anything clean.